What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to add three digit numbers that involve regrouping or bridging the 10, however you want to call it. Let's have a jump straight into it. Okay, cool. So our two tips for today. Number one, we're going to try and use column labels. We'll see what that means in a moment. And number two, we're going to start with the smallest value. Again, we'll see what that means just now. And for this method, we are going to be using column addition, which means we're going to be putting these numbers into columns on top of each other and then adding them up. The number at the start is going to be the number that goes on the top of our columns and the number afterwards is the number that goes on the bottom. But let's follow our two tips. And the first one says use column labels. So when I'm looking at this first number, 452, I'm going to try and label it which means I'm going to put my 1s, 10s, 100s, etc. on top. So I'm going to look first in my 1s column and I can see I have 2 1s, 5 10s and 4 100s. So these 1s, 10s and 100s, they are our column labels. And I'm going to do the same to this other number, 9 1s, 7 10s, 100. Now the reason I do that is because when I'm about to put them in my columns like I am now, 1s, 10s, 100s, I can very clearly see which one of these is going to go in the right column. So let's say I'm starting with my 1s. I can clearly see I have a 2 in the first number and a 9 in the second number. So let's put those in place. 2 on the top, 9 on the bottom. Now I can do my 10s and I can see I have a 5 and a 7. Let's put those in place, 5 and 7. And last but not least, let's do our 100s and I can see I have a 4 and a 1, let's put them in the 100s column, 4 and 1. Let's just check our numbers, 452, that's right, and 179, that's also right. But the beauty of the way we did it is we now know that these numbers are in the perfect columns. So let's put our equal sign and our plus sign and now we're ready to begin. And then my second tip said, start with the smallest value. And the smallest value is of course the 1s. So my question reads 2 plus 9. And 2 plus 9, we know, is 11. But uh oh, what's happening here? I've got a two digit number that can only go into a one digit answer column. So what do I do? Well, I can look at this 11 and I can split it into its ones and its tens. And I can see that I have one one and one ten. Therefore, looking back at my 1s column, I can put my 1 in the answer column, but I'm not going to put my 1 in the 10s column because I've still got other 10s here to add up. So I'm going to move this 1 into the question part and put it down here. Now I'm ready to solve my 10s. And now I have a 5 plus 7 plus this little 1 that we've just added, and that equals 13. And again, same problem. I have a two digit answer. So I'm just going to put my three, just like before, in this column, and then I'll put my one into the hundreds part of my question. Put that down here. Awesome. Now I can start to work out my hundreds, and I have a four plus a one plus my new one, and that equals six. So I can fill my answer in, and I have a total answer of 631. Don't forget to always finish your question by finishing the number sentence. So 631 goes up here. Give myself a tick. Awesome. Let's look at what to remember. Always begin by putting the column labels. This will help you avoid making any small mistakes. Always insert the numbers by putting the smallest value in first. Begin adding from the smallest value. This is really important. If the answer is more than a one digit answer, then we can bridge it into the next column. Your turn. Here are two questions for you to have a go at. Take your time. Put the answers in the comment section, press pause on the video now, I'm going to make sure I mark every single one. Good luck. And there you go guys, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now guys, thank you very much. Peace out.